To image the behavior of individual cells in vivo, plasma DNA, containing a cell-specific promoter driving expression of a fluorophore or biosensor, is injected into zebrafish embryos. Dynamic changes in effectin distribution are visualized in vivo using a biosensor based on the effectin binding domain of eutrophin. Newly fertilized embryos are lined up along the injection slide and positioned in the corner formed between the top and bottom slides. DNA encoding fluorophores or biosensors is injected into the cell. The next day, embryos are mounted in agarose on the imaging slide. The embryos are positioned with the labeled cells down and the chamber is sealed with a cover slip. Hi, I'm Erica Anderson from the Laboratory of Mary Halloran in the Departments of Zoology and Anatomy at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm Namrata Asuri, also from the Halloran Lab. And I'm Matt Clay from the Halloran Lab. Today we will show you a procedure for live imaging of individually labeled cells in zebrafish embryos. We use this procedure in a laboratory to study cell motility and actin dynamics during axon outgrowth and neural crest cell migration. So let's get started. To assemble injection slides, first prepare Silgard silicone elastomer according to the manufacturer's instructions. Mix 10 parts of the elastomer base with one part curing agent. Use the Silgard to bond three standard glass microscope slides together. Arrange two slides side by side at the long edges. Apply Silgard to the third slide and place it on top of the other two slides. Use just enough Silgard to seal the slides without excess oozing from between the slides. Any excess can be removed the following day with a razor blade. 